The Bureau of Immigration said that 1,500 Chinese nationals have been granted with student visa in Cagayan in 2023. Dana Sandoval, spokesperson of the agency, emphasized that they are issuing student visa based only on the endorsements of legitimate schools and the Commission on Higher Education. Sa atin naman po, nag issue lamang tayo ng student visa doon lamang sa mga uh, estudyante, mga foreign nationals that are um, endorsed by uh, uh, legitimate schools as well as this time and po sa Commission on, Commission on Higher Education. In relation to this, foreign nationals with student visa may be subjected to government intelligence investigation. According to BI, their records are being sent to the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency or NICA and the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI. Therefore, they may be subjected to validation at any time in the event of suspicious activities that seem to be harmful to the security of the state. Yung kanila pong listahan, yung mga school po listahan ng mga foreign nationals ay pinaforward din po sa NICA, sa National Intelligence Coordinating Agency as well as the NBI po na sila naman pong mga ahensya ng gobyerno na tumitingin po sa security aspect and investigates po kung may mga makita po na mga um, cause for concern um, that might uh, and, and um, things that might be inimical to the uh, state. A foreign national can also be deported if he or she was proven to be violating the laws of the country. Kung may makita po naman na ibang activity nila dito sa Pilipinas, halimbawa po eh, mga uh, aktibidades na hindi sumusunod or hindi alinsunod sa mga patas po ng Pilipinas, then we can initiate a deportation po. On the other hand, four schools in Tuguegarao City have denied the reports of the alleged influx of Chinese students in Cagayan Province. According to their statement, there are only 486 foreign students in St. Paul University, Philippines, or at SPUP in Tuguegarao City. Jed Neresina, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God. <music>